selecting a random sample from a normal distribution this is best done in Maine and uh, our, our population has a mean of 60 and a standard deviation of 12 so to take this um, random sample we're going to get the keyboard up and head down to the catalog of functions and we're looking for the ones beginning with R so I'm tapping across here to the ones beginning with R and here we go there's the random normal so if I tap that one in and enter the two parameters standard deviation first 12 and the mean second 60 and tap execute you'll notice a single sample has been selected um, now let's get 20 samples so uh, or however many you require we simply put one th extra parameter at the end here and that is the number of samples so let's get 20 samples so when I tap execute now a list is returned um, these are probably a little bit accurate for our liking so I know there is an F round function here so if we go back to the ones beginning with F and I'm looking for F round here it is and uh, will F round uh, go back and find answer and a comma and a zero decimal places so that'll round these to the nearest whole number when I tap execute and here they are um, for analysis of our data if we wanted to do anything with them the best thing is to take the answer and store them into list one so I've got answer and the store symbol I'll type in list one and tap execute and now they've all been stored into list one so I can go off to the menu into statistics and you can see here's our sample uh, there it is and you can see we've got 20 all up there um, we could also and then obviously you can do all the regular type of one variable analysis and so on I could also have a look at the data in a spreadsheet um, if I start a new spreadsheet here and then use file import and the variable would be list one the list one is just the list variable so list one say OK and here they are again and we can do anything such as maybe select them choose um, a histogram and there's our distribution of data and we could um, and so on